Hello YouTube. I want to do a quick video to show you how to do port forwarding. A lot of people are having confusion as far as how to set up port forwarding or they might not even know what it is yet and that's why they're having problems with their home network. Now keep in mind I'm not an IT guru. I'm not a networking person. I don't do that for a career. I just it's it's actually pretty easy. It's not that hard. Um, Google is your best friend when it comes to stuff like this but this video will hopefully show you how just to actually set up your port forwarding so you can access your devices that you have hooked up on your network outside of your network so for example let's say you want to have a security camera set up um, you might be able to view it at home but you're not able to view it at work or outside of your network that's where port forwarding comes in really handy and in, basically the IP address that you're using is your actual routers net your network IP address not your computer IP address um, this way you can actually you know view this stuff outside your network so port forwarding basically your device is going to go to a port on the router and then when you're outside the network what whenever you have this set up let's say your port is 8080 you're going to be connecting to your IP address and you can find out your IP address real easy by just going into Google and typing IP I'm not going to do it on here because I don't want my IP address exposed but if you just type in IP it'll bring up your IP address right here if Google's not working, there's plenty of websites like what's my IP.org, I think. All kinds of different websites out there work, but I just use Google. Um, so you find out your IP address. You you go into your routers. Basically, you log into your router's gateway. For example, I have a Linksys. It's 192.168.1.1. Uh, I just use the default password. By the way, if you don't know what you if you've never done this, if you don't know what your gateway is, or you don't if you don't know what your gateway login is or if you don't know what your authentication password is just Google it just type in what model router you have on Google type in stock router login or stock gateway login and it'll bring you'll be able to find out what it is but for uh, links this it's the username is blank and the password is admin so that'll bring you to your gateway for the router on a Linksys router, for example, it's, it's pretty easy. You just go to application and gaming, and then right here, you have your port forwarding information or your port range. So I have a couple cameras. I have my laptop and my desktop set up for remote for remote desktop. And basically, what you have here is like, for example, this camera, I have it up on port 80. Protocol, I'll just leave it on both. You don't have to mess with that. Now, this is where it's gonna get a little more technical but for example when I was setting up my camera it when it connected to the network it was assigned IP address 192.168.1.102 um, and you'll find whenever you're setting up your camera that's the IP address this is where people run into problems they use that IP address and they they try to use that to log in from outside of their network and that's where they're running into issues so what you do is it'll tell you when you're setting up your camera what port to use it should if not you'll have to you'll have to research it a little bit but default is usually 80 or 81 especially for these cameras but my first camera I have on 80 um, so you just you can put 80 80 and then you know start to end you like I said keep protocol on both IP address you enter that IP address that's assigned to it and then hit enable and you hit save and then what you're gonna have is it'll say save successful or complete depending on your router so when you go to log in for example you can do two ways here you can if you're on your own network if you're at home using your Wi-Fi you can just enter this 192.168.1.102 we can do it here 192.168 1.102 and then you hit colon and your port 8080 now I have this set up on a phone actually uh, IP webcam it's an app for Android and it works really well I set an old Android point phone line around but um, whenever you depending on whatever you're using it'll it'll bring up whatever camera you have set up this one happens to be an Android if you have like a, a 10 vis security camera it'll bring up that web page for that camera now this like I said keep this in mind this is on your network um, but okay let's say you have this and you wanna do oh, 
let me look here what the best option is. We'll just do open stream and VLC. And then you have your security camera footage right there. Now, if you want to access this from outside of your network, let's say you're at work and you want to, you know, see what's going on on your security cameras, that's where you, all you do is once you have your port forwarding set up, like I said, I'm not going to enter it here, but all you have to do is enter your IP address that your router's configured to. That, like I said, when you go to Google, type in IP or what's my IP, and Google will show you even. And you just you type in your IP address. So let's say it's dot 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 dot. Well, you know whatever your IP address is. Colon port eighty eighty or eighty eighty one, whatever your port is. That will bring it up from outside your network as long as you have your port forwarding set up. So essentially, all you're doing is you're taking your device. Your router is forwarding your device information on that port. Um, and that's it. That's all it's doing. So that way you can access this information from outside of your home network. Uh, so I don't know. If you have any questions or if you're having trouble setting up your port forwarding, leave it in the comments. Shoot me a message. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be glad to help. But it is actually pretty simple. Like I said, a quick review. All you do, and this application, by the way, where it says application, you can put whatever you want in here. That, that has nothing to do with how this is going to operate. That's just so you can identify what device is connected to this port. For example, for a remote desktop, I have my laptop set up on here. This is the default port for the laptop. That's my laptop's IP. And if I'm within my own home network, I can just enter this on the remote desktop connection and that could connect to my computer. I also have it set up to where I can access it remotely from anywhere outside of my network. And that's where I just enter that same IP address when you type in Google, go to Google and type in IP. You enter that IP address and then you use this port. And then you can, when you're setting up your remote desktop remote, when you're actually using it from outside your network, you can use that other IP address. Because all that's doing is connecting to your router. Then your router's connecting to the device. So, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or by message. Thank you.